It's also who I associate our guests with. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know my friend, Will Smith. <laughs> yes. Hello, hello, hello out there. Welcome to the Can't Tell Us Nothing show. Where John has that button. <laughs> this is the show hosted by Can't Tell Us Nothing. Improv group out of Houston, Texas. In the group, you'll find Tandy. Ooh. You'll find Amici. <laughs> Ooh. You'll find John. <laughs> and you'll <laughs> you also have myself, Antoine. And this is a show where we take opinions, discussions, topics, turn it into improv scenes on the spot. We just make them up. Kind of like a sketches you might have seen on TV. Maybe it's SNL, maybe it's Keen Peel, whatever, that sort of thing. We do made up inspired by the conversation. Sometimes we get a special guest to join us if we can so convince them to. Today is a very special guest. Uh, <laughs> you can see her right here. Uh, you can see her name right there. Vanessa Gonzalez, stand up comedian, uh, improviser, sketch writer. Vanessa, tell, tell people a little bit more about yourself, please. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. That's so sweet. Y'all make me feel real special. You are real special. You yes. are. So yes. special. I remember taking uh, one of your workshops back in the day. In yeah. Houston. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. You are I miss it. Yeah. The good mm -hmm. old days. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> Things were simple. Just yeah. looking for jokes. Yeah. Characters. <laughs> oh, so fun. So fun. I miss yeah. uh going to Houston so much. Y'all got y'all um, got good food there. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> are you are you from Austin originally or, or no, I'm from Laredo on the border. Okay. Uh but I started comedy here in Austin, uh like going on 13 years now 13 mm -hmm. years ago and uh yeah it's been fun to stay stay in austin be back i was in la for a couple years but i'm a texas girl you can't All get right. the texas out <laughs> they tried they yeah tried. they tried you went out there did a couple of things with comedy central right yeah yeah you know just did the rounds and then i was like <laughs> Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Call me where y'all get the Texas Comedy Central. I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Something and they're real. Good. No, I'm, again, I'm going back to food because that's what my main <laughs> love is. And um, I couldn't get that they don't have breakfast tacos there. What I guess that's time? just oh, in not, LA. not in LA. What's up? Ooh, yeah, they that's... only do breakfast burritos, and I'm like, that's too too much. That's that is a lot to eat. <laughs> yeah. Just walking around with three pounds of all of that <laughs> yeah. in stomach and yeah. Right. Yeah. right in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we could just do a smaller version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Uh, oh, and uh, I wanted to ask. So, uh, I was curious. So, when you went to LA, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure I have a feeling that you've probably been there a few times before you moved out there. But what are some of the key things you noticed that are different in the improv and comedy scene compared to Austin? Oh, well, you know, it's funny because uh, they had you know, the big staple theaters, you know, UCB and Second City. And at first I was like, oh, you know, you have to like kind of be a student and, and be a part of the theater in order to perform and be in a group. So I was like, oh, I'm used to Austin where, you know, it's it's such a big, you know, open improv community where everyone's just like, yeah, let's play together and moving theaters around and, you know, in and out. Um, but luckily, I kind of took, I would say, like the back door and a, a lot of friends who had groups were like, well, you could just sit in with us if you want. We don't have to tell anybody. And I would be, like, I would be going into UCB like, yeah, I took 
I took classes here. <laughs> yeah, hey, okay, y'all got my check. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I I think definitely in Austin it just felt more accessible, I guess, improv and, and performing. A lot of stage time here, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. It seemed harder to get stage time in LA, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. everybody's out there to do it, man. They're out there yeah. to make it. Nobody right. just like accidentally. That's a very purposeful <laughs> yes. journey to go to LA and to do that thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, I miss the jams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny because, like you said, we take advantage of a lot of stage time, just mm -hmm. being able to get on and get better quicker. You just get yeah. more reps. I always wondered, like, if you were starting off in LA. I mean, it's brutal. Like, yeah, it would be brutal to try to get good while you're there, you know. Um, which we've known some people who have kind of left earlier to kind of go there, but um, right. that's always it. Just it always made sense to me. Like, I would rather stay here and get as much time and then visit and yeah. do what I think that, you know. Oh, for sure. Uh, like now that you bring it up too, I a big difference I notice in the improv styles that, you know, we did a lot here in Austin, in Houston, when I would visit and do workshops, we would always focus on like, you know, longer scenes, character based, you know, grounded, you know, slower, take your time with it. And in LA, there's no time. You got to just everyone's <laughs> jokes in, move it along. There's like 15 people in a group and you got to, you know, keep it, keep it snappy. So, yeah, I didn't really see from what I'm used to, like here in Austin and, and in playing with y'all in Houston. It's like, yeah, we, we like it slow. We like to simmer <laughs> it down a little sometimes. Right. And then mm -hmm. we switch it up. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I agree with that. In the times I've been out there, I've definitely seen, one thing I noticed, the groups are much larger on yeah. average. There's a lot more people in, in an improv group. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then on the other side of that, the people, when they are performing, they hit the stage hard. Like, they're big mm -hmm. characters, and they're fast uh, at establishing out the gate. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, out the gate. Yeah, mm -hmm. well... I I think it's because they're like, yeah, well, we don't have a show for another three months, so get it. <laughs> get out. Get in. You're yeah. getting every accent I can do. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> in, one, in one scene. Right. I got to show my range. <laughs> you don't know who's in the audience. <laughs> a lot of pressure. Yeah. That just seems like a lot of pressure. Yeah. You know. It's definitely, you know, way more fun. And, yeah, I mean, just... From the shows I've seen here and, and in Houston and all, it's like, man, it's like the crowds are packed. They get big laughs. It's like a big, you know, you make an event out of it. It's a fun mm -hmm. thing. And I don't think the improv shows in L.A. get that much love. Like They don't have the audiences that we do over here. And it's not like a, a big event or a big mm -hmm. time thing because everyone's like, oh, another improv show. It's usually just the groups there or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It might be people in the audience who are like there to spite watch. Like, oh, yeah. these guys got the slot. Let's see how good they are. Let's see how they yeah. get the Friday yeah. slot. Yeah. <laughs> And then over here, it's like all our friends from work are here, our families. <laughs> it's a Nephews, big old thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. We, we, we cut to um, a group of friends celebrating a birthday for one of them. Okay, guys. Um, it's my birthday today. Thank you all for coming. Happy uh, birthday. Right. Yeah. Cool. I know we Happy all have birthday. a birthday this week. We, have a, we all have a birthday party this week. Um, so, you know, I really appreciate you guys making time to come today. Uh, instead of preparing for your parties, you're, you're here to help me celebrate. And that's, that's really nice of you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. So welcome. I've got I the mean, time. you were, you were talking about this, this birthday party all last week, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. really built it up. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, you know, my birthday is next, uh -huh. um, tomorrow so i i was gonna leave early i didn't want to you know i don't want to make a big thing or steal your thunder but 
I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna head out early. Oh, okay. Um, no. just, you know, we just got here. That people are talking about leaving. It's, yeah, well, it's like it's six a.m. You know, still so, had like four or five hours of events mm -hmm. and games to to get through. Hey, oh. Michi, um, mm -hmm. I went ahead and took a PC at Cake, but um, I got to head back, man. I think I left my um, refrigerator on. You took, um, I, I had a big speech plan for, for cutting the cake. I, I just didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to interrupt the speech and all of that. I just wanted to hurry up, taste it, just just taste it and get out of here. You know, I got to go okay. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, right. I'm glad, I'm glad you, you you brought that up, John, because I was actually, I put a couple of your balloons in my car. Mm. I didn't have time to go pick up balloons. And my oh. grandma's at my house, you know, uh, for my party. So, you know, I like. Yeah. She didn't have a lot of time left. Like, Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. And I, I see your cars running as well. You're leaving yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, to get it warmed up. But, you know, I'm he I'm here for you, though. Yeah. 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 We're okay. here right okay. now. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. How, how much longer, how much longer the limo that's uh, taking me back to my house is outside? They just want to know. I, I told them maybe, what, three more minutes, five? How, how much longer you got yeah. on this party? Um, well, I rented the hall for the whole night. And it's oh, only okay. six, so, you know. Yeah. Right. But, but we, we, we get the gist, right. you know, yeah. like. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, you did a great okay. job yeah. getting the message across. You got the banner, oh. Oh, you got yeah. the table for the presents. Like, this is a birthday party. It's clear. You yeah. nailed it. You hit mm -hmm. it big yes. real early. Invitations. The invitations were beautiful. Absolutely oh, yeah. beautiful. Oh, you know, you spent a lot of money on those. Mm. Yeah. yeah, then you know yeah. the DJ is still setting up, so you know I don't have any music or anything yet. But you, oh, that, that's uh, John. Turn turn your get your phone. Put some music on. Just play some. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. 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 Spotify. Yeah. He's got yeah, Spotify. Yeah, we could just yeah, we could just listen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If we could just you know just speed it up a little yeah. bit. If you had anything else, yeah. you want this? I mean, I got this on my phone. I could I could play this. Hey. This is your favorite song, okay. right? Oh, that's no, my favorite so song. That's oh, your favorite song. Oh, okay. I love that song. That's my yeah. birthday song. I know I got oh. that for you, Vanessa. Oh. I, that was really, we, really you know what we should do? Gift, you, know? you know what we should do? Since she's about to head out, let's just sing her happy birthday real quick. No, no. Yeah. 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 I mean, birthday to you, Vanessa. Would you reluctantly sing? Sit as so polite. He's laying just he's reluctantly happy. That's that's the one day. You have one. You have the right to be angry. You have the right to act <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have a right to. Um, <laughs> and, you know, 